Hi guys! So I thought I'd do a look based on um, Lana Del Rey. Here, I'll put my camera up a little bit. A uh, look based on Lana Del Rey in her Born to Die video, the one where she's kind of sitting in the throne with the tigers. Um, so I kind of thought I'd do a look inspired based a little bit on that. So I got my little roses. They're not the do, but. Um, so this is the eye. And the look's very subtle on the eye with the liner, of course, that she almost always wears. And then the lips are actually more of like a wine berry. So I'm going to combine a few colors and try to get that lip look close as I want it to be. Um, so to start off with, can down again. I'm going to do this eye. I've already got my Urban Decay Primer Potion on it. Now I'm going to take the Urban Decay Book of Shadows palette. And I'm going to be using Missionary, Skim, and Bust. So, Bust, Missionary, Skim. And to start off with, I'm just going to take a 213 brush, and I'm going to take that Missionary Medium color and put it all over my lid. Now, I think in the video she is more of a matte finish, which looks really cool, but I really wanted to be more shimmery. I mean, it's summer, and honestly, my skin, I already powdered it, and it's not staying matte right now. Like, I have sheen here and sheen here and everywhere else because it's really hot out. Okay, now I'm going to take my 266, which is the angle brush, and I use that to take the skin into my inner corner because that's really the only place she is highlighter is by her eyes in the tear duct and then a tiny bit I think on her brow bone but it's not it's very subtle so and I'm putting it under my lower lash line because that'll make my lower lashes stick out more now I'm going to take a 226 and I'm taking bust which is that darker brown I and mean, it's really still a medium brown but it's darkest of the shades I'm going to use this in my crease to add the depth. It's kind of how you keep just a lined eye from looking boring and flat, is adding depth. Now I can take my 224 and blend a little bit. And then also take Skimp and a little bit of Sin which is just um, a champagne -y color. So that's just my going to be my highlight. It's not too frosty or dramatic, but it still highlights that area. And that's eyeshadow. It's all done. So now I can go in, and I'm going to take and curl my lashes. I already have one coat of mascara on. So I'm going to take another coat of my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill, and it's just in black. Fix any flubs. Alright, so that's one co two coats of mascara on there, but now I can move on and do my lower lashes. So I'm going to take Clinique's Bottom Lash. This is in black brown. From what I've seen in the video and um, still pictures, it's more of a brown natural tone on all of her everything pretty much. <laughs> So like browns on the eyes and browns everywhere but the lashes on top, I think, they looked more black. And that works fine for me because my, um, whew, you can tell it's hot when the hair starts sticking to you, um, because all my false lashes and mascaras, I think I have one brown mascara, that's it. So um, now I'm going to go on 
I'm just going to quickly put, um, this is just Burt's Bees Ultra Conditioning Lip Balm with Cocoon Butter. Just because I want to make sure my lips are very moisturized for um, the darker color. Do, 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 do. I can take my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Shadow Pencil in Sin. This I was using on my lower lash line because she does have a light color there. Um, it's not like a white, so I didn't want to use my NYX Milk Pencil. And when I remembered I had this, I'm like, I can at least try it and see how well it stays. It's not the perfect because it's not meant to be really on the waterline. But it works to highlight for a while, and then once it wears off, it's not like it um, makes it darker or something. It's just that my natural waterline will show through. Okay, now I'm going to go in and curl my lashes again. Now I try to make sure I skip my lower lashes as much as possible. Okay. Now I'm going to take Wholesome Fluid Line, which is a dark brown. This might be even a little darker brown than what she kind of had, but it's what I actually do have. I think I have a physician's formula that might be lighter. But then it might be too light. <laughs> it's always the difficult part when you recreate a look. It You almost have to do one more inspired because you don't have the exact products. And Obviously for a music video, makeup artist might have mixed different colors and you never know what shades they use half the time. Unless they're being sponsored by a makeup company, then they make sure they tell you. So I'm just going to wing that out, making sure it's similar to the other side. That side looks a bit droopier. I thought this one would, but this one does. But there we go. And I'm also going to do my top waterline. This just helps the lashes blend to in with the rest of your eyes. Only thing I hate about contacts, like I have contacts, if my eyes were perfect, I wouldn't have to worry about smudging um, gel liner on them and then having to clean them after my makeup routine. Okay, so while that stays, I'm actually going to take Pink Cult. She really doesn't look like she has much of a blush, but there's just a very light sheen. Oh my goodness. I'm going to powder my face again because it's so bad. Just, at least for the video, I can cake on the powder. Um, I did kind of put it lightly on before because I knew it might do this. My brush feels gross because I have sweat. <laughs> Oh, everywhere's pretty much a heat wave. We have, like, a heat advisory until Thursday, and I live in Wisconsin, and we have a heat advisory. Not good. Now I'm going to just take my blush brush, which is a 129, and Pink Cult, which is a very pale, dusty rose. She doesn't have anything very dis discernible. Like, it's very neutral. And this is also a matte blush, so it helps to keep my skin from looking too um, highlighted because she really doesn't have a highlight on her cheekbones or anywhere but her eyes. And now I'm going to go back in with my eyes. And I'm going to take my Demi Wispies. These are the lashes from Salon Perfect. You can just grab them at Walmart. And I'm going to put lash glue on them, if I can find my lash glue. This is just the Revlon Lash Precision. I love this stuff. I lost my other tube somewhere. And 
I tried going back to like the tubes of that you get like part of the Salon Perfect or Ardell I think but they're the tubes you see everywhere and I hate them I cannot use those um, they dry out super quick and then it, it like doesn't stay down like I always have trouble with my inner corner this makes it stay so and usually it's all day stay so that's really important to me um, I will say that I wanted to line my lips red to kind of um, make it stay even more but unfortunately I couldn't do that because um, I lost my lip liner too <laughs> somewhere just all over the place and I haven't filmed in a while so I'm going to take the Clinique bottom lash again and just do a second coat because she's really got pronounced lower lashes which is why I also highlighted under them to help them kind of stick out Oh, I suppose I didn't do that when my mascara is wet. Got it on my pencil a little bit. Okay. I'm going to assume those, the glue will be tacky enough. I just put those as close to my lash line as possible. These help create that flared out look she tends to have. I'm just going to leave those stuck there. I'm going to do one more coat of mascara over them, but I want to make sure they stick as much as possible before I try to futz with them. So now I'm going to take... Whew, yeah, I'm sticking to myself. I'm actually going to take What Joy, which is a uh, satin. This is from the MAC Glitter and Ice Collection. That's why it's got a uh, white tube. And I'm just going to fill in my lips. A lip brush is a really good idea. I hate them. I really can't be bothered. This is why I like lining my eye lips. I feel like I don't need a lip brush at all. Now I'm going to take um, Love Alert. This came with the Glitter and Ice collection, but it's actually a permanent shade. But this will take this really more dark cranberry shade and add the red to make it more berry toned, like in the video. And I can take a Kleenex, use that to blot the inside, and you just want to touch up anything. If you do um, have terrible luck like me, and it ends up all over, um, you can take a concealer brush and conceal around your lips. That'll help. Um, Tone it into the right direction of what you want and cover up any little mistakes you've made. This side of my hair has like fallen completely flat and then this one is the last one I did so it's a little more curly. Terrible. Now I'm going to take Bad Gal Lash from Benefit and this is what I'm going to put right over those false lashes. This is just going to make them a little more pronounced. Okay. And then I'm going to take Sin and put it in my inner corner. 
Last time I did this, it wasn't really going to be intentional, but it helps brighten up that area even more. Okay, so this is my finished um, woo, Lana Del Rey look. And it's definitely focusing on lips and eyes while still not competing too much and looking like too much together. This is a really cool look, I think, for like going out or having kind of a more baby doll look to you, whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm sorry I haven't been filming much. Tomorrow I plan on filming my 4th of July look, but hopefully. Even though it won't go up until probably a week after 4th of July. Alright, I'll talk to you all later. Bye!